as promised, got a big prediction between Marvin Vittori and Jared Cannonier for this Saturday night, the next main event. In the middleweight division at UFC Vegas 75, you got two top contenders in Marvin Vittori and Jared Cannonier set the lock horns. Vittori, 19 and 6. Cannonier, 16 and 6. You can see why this is a good one. Vittori is slight favorite, but it's almost 50 50. Vittori is one inch taller at six feet. Uh, he's considerably younger, 29 versus a 39 year old Cannonier. I didn't realize Cannonier was that old. Cannonier's got a four inch reach advantage, 78 to 74. He's a switch stance fighter. Vittori is a southpaw or left hander. Both guys, at least four significant strikes, so four exactly uh, per minute. For Cannoneer, 4.4 for Vittori, so it's really close there. But Vittori uh, likes to take the fight to the ground if he can. He lands nearly two takedowns over the course of three rounds. Should this go five, he's looking at three or four. Uh, and what that means is the takedown defense for Cannoneer is important. It's 64%, which is right about average. Now, Vittori is a 75% takedown defense, but that shouldn't matter in this fight. And it would be good enough in any fight. Now, Vittori's coming off a big win over Roman Delice, a, a guy that many people thought would beat him. Before that, he lost to Robert Whitaker by decision uh, in a fight that he got dominated, 74-33 to 33 in significant strikes. He also beat Paulo Costa by decision. This guy is a decision machine, beating the likes of Kevin Holland uh, and Jack Hermanson. His last win uh, was a submission victory over Carl Robertson. Now, Jared Cannonier in a similar boat. He lost to Adesanya uh, by decision for the title, but performed well. 116 to 90 in significant strikes, not bad. He beat Sean Strickland by split decision, beat Derek Brunson by KO, beat Kelvin Gastelum by unanimous decision. He also lost to Robert Whitaker, 69 to 53 uh, in significant strikes. So it's going to be a close fight. I'd really like to go with Jared Cannonier, but I just don't think he's going to get the job done. I think the six-foot Vittori has an advantage in height. He's given up some length, but he's going to get into the body, find a way, find ways to get takedowns, limit Cannonier's striking ability. And you should see Vittori with a, about five to seven minutes of control time on three or four takedowns. Uh, Cannonier won't maintain the four significant strikes per minute, which will be about 100 significant strikes in this fight. He'll probably be closer to 60 or 70. Vittori will be a close to 100. So he's going to win in control time. He's going to win round by round. He's going to win in significant strikes. I like Vittori to pull this thing out and move to 20 and 6. I think the guy's ceiling is still higher than what it is now. But he wins here in middleweight division. Your main event at UFC Vegas 75. Yeah, so we'll take Vittori and put the 15 and 4 record on the line, right? In terms of the main event. So Vittori wins, in my opinion. He's the better fighter. Cannonier does have a longer reach, but he's not going to be able to defend the takedowns against Vittori. If this thing stays standing, Vittori still wins. But if Vittori can land takedowns, he'll pull away. And I love to see Vittori get the finish. I love to see Vittori get the finish. But I think he wins regardless in dominating fashion. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height, yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, Step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.